Hey guys, what's going on? Vic Showman here. And um, recently you may have noticed that Sturm has been, it's been, it's been showing up a lot more often in the Crucible, partially because it got the 120 buff, and it can hit pretty much, from what I believe, the, it, the full damage, the 90 to the head from, I think, 44 meters away. But uh, here we have Tyshek, who's going to help me confirm that. And he's got Darcy. So we're going to see just how much range this hand cannon has. You ready, Tyshek? Yes. Just let me know when I'm at 40. 40 uh, let's actually know. Let's start at 40, and then we'll go to 44. Right here is 40. This is 40? Yeah, so it's still hitting 90. <laughs> this is 44. It's 44 right now? Yep. Dude! 88 from 44 meters away? Wait, so... Keep in mind, here, let's swap spots. Because you know how this is a common engagement? Like, this is a common spot where people will engage. People will, like... The head glitch on the corner, on, like, the stairs here. And people will be standing over there. So what is this at? 44. That's insane. So you can be in this like common engagement on this map and you can still do that much damage. That is insane. So approximately that that distance, which people are in gunfights at that distance all the time on this map, it is exactly 44 meters. That's insane. The perks on it are extended barrel which is a weighty barrel extension, which increases that range. And then you got extended mag. The magazine on this, thing is, on this thing is huge. It's 12, and then for every drain kill, it reloads it and adds another bullet and gives you an extra damage bullet. And then you got storm and stress, which is this gun's exotic perk. Kills with drain, reload this weapon, and overflow a bonus damage round into the magazine. Combat grip, which people actually think that this might be the perk that is what keeping that is what is keeping this gun's recoil under control essentially because since all the 110s got turned into 120s, they got a recoil nerf. So a lot of them are very they hop around a lot, but this one is surprisingly stable compared to a lot of others. And then it's exotic perk kills with this weapon, fill the magazine, and the equipped energy weapon from reserves. And as you can tell, let me remove this screen right here. Um, with the masterwork, I'm actually very happy I got this, even though I don't use, or I, in the past, never used to use this gun a lot. So 50 from right here, let's check this out. 44. So that's not, that's not, okay. alright, what is this? 46. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty generous, even if you're like, 46 meters. I love how I'm like, oh yeah, you know, 46 is hitting 73. That's not bad. That's pretty good. That's actually ridiculous. Like, this is a hand cannon. <laughs> like, this isn't even a hand cannon. This is a scout rifle. This is a scout Honestly. rifle. <laughs> this thing's ridiculous. Alright, well, let's go into the Crucible. Alrighty. Which, I mean, you gotta get money. Yeah. I'm not gonna slam someone, but... That's like, like, hating on people for doing, like, like, don't get me wrong, it's annoying, but that's like hating on people for, like, the Raid Shadow Legend ads and stuff. Because it's like, yeah, uh, it's annoying, but, like, they gotta make money. I played Raid Shadow Legends once. How was that? Horrible. <laughs> it was completely pay to, it was completely pay to win. It was a loot box game. <laughs> and it kept me, like, a ten... It kept my attention for maybe 30 seconds before I was like, yeah, no thanks. Oh my gosh. See, like, the thing, like, I love Astacross. He's a great creator, man, but, like, <laughs> every once in a while he has that Raid Shadow Legends ad, and I'm like, yep, it's that yeah. time, it's that time again. <laughs> you know who, uh, Ninja Pops is? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. I like his content. Yeah, he makes it's really like, good content. He actually got popular, like, not that long ago. I think a couple years ago is when he started to grow because of Destiny 2. Yeah, when Forsaken dropped, he was on top of it. Oh, I know. And, and that's that's what got him where he's at. I mean, he, he makes great content, straight to the point, no bullcrap. Yeah. Like, that's what I... That's what everyone wants in a mm. content creator. Very, he's very informative, and, and that's what I love about him. And oh, I just got booted. No way. <laughs> yeah. 
Please just put me back in the game. Nah, you got. Oh no! The whole internet went out. Are you being serious? No. You left the party and everything. No! No! It title screened me! Oh. Oh. Let's do this again. Ooh, rusted lands. Yo, we got rusted. Yes. This is my map. This is my map. You guys are probably so tired of me just talking about how much I love this map. And then everyone else seems to not like it. And I feel like I'm the only one. I like it in 6v6, but I just hate it in comp. Yeah, that's understandable. I like private matches. I love this map. It's so fun. I swear I need to seek intensive therapy every time I get frozen by stasis. Honestly, yes. <laughs> it hits the hardest when it's a when it's a, a a warlock melee. I cannot stand that. I just can't stand warlock stasis in general, and I I'm playing warlock. <laughs> That's how you know it's bad. It's literally me versus two guys for B. Yeah, not too too hot right now. I just want to get like a nice long range engagement. Just get some clean kills, man. That's where Sturm just like thrives. Mm -hmm. Gotta get that quality Sturm content. Oh no, I missed the overcharge shot. And I was like, this guy's weak, it's just gonna kill him. And then I missed it, and I'm like, great. Yo, that is so satisfying. Seeing like half a bar of health and then just killing him in one shot. Dude, I've like barely been using this gun today, and I love it. It feels amazing, like I'm slapping heads. This thing's crazy. You know what I realized though too? Because it's range stat is so absurd, it's aim assist is like crazy. Like there are times where I feel like I shoot them in the like the chest and it registers as a headshot and it baffles me. <laughs> it feels like- For reference, uh... The an average 140 hand cannon has a max range of, I believe, 34 meters. And what's this? Oh no, this is like, we just did it, it's like 40, over 40 meters. That is insane. So this is like well above 140 range. Big time. The only hand cannon that could outdo uh, it is not forgotten and Luna's Howl. Yeah, but that's the, just because uh, they're bugged. Howl does not have uh, range drop off. That's true, but also they're just bugged right now. So they're doing yeah. more damage than they should. They never mentioned it in the TWAB, so. Really? Maybe it was intentional then. But then again, mm, I don't know. Who knows, honestly. The fact that they're available to all players now, even though you have to spend a pretty penny, I don't know. I'd be two ascendant shards richer if I just played comp. Ah, <sighs> comp is stressful. I get, you know, it's. I can't stand it. But usually it's, it's like. Usually it's chill. It's like it's actually fun until up until you get like mythic, and then you get mythic too, and you're like, man, it just drains you. It's so draining. Because <laughs> you're facing all of these like apes and all these things, which is expected. Yeah, yeah. Also, um, Crimson recently has been super annoying. Oh my Crimson is out of hand. Understand. I can't believe, like, it already, it already got a buff in the past, and I thought it was very well balanced, to be honest with you. 
I thought it, it was a very well-balanced hand cannon, and and now it apparently two bursts or something like that. It's like ridiculous. Yep. Like it was balanced before. I didn't think it needed to be touched. It was more like an indirect buff. I don't think they weren't necessarily like targeting it. It just like happened to get buffed. I'm pretty sure. Because when the like about like a week or so after the expansion, I'm like, why is everyone using crimson? Like I didn't know why. And that makes a lot. Sorry, I was aiming. Oh, I double ninety him, and he had like no health. That makes a lot more sense now. Like now that I know that. Oh no. I'm gonna like avoid that. Don't be lost. Oh my god. No, please! I would have died by the hammer of soul anyway. Yes! Come on, I want an overcharge kill. Oh, no! No, dude, I missed the overcharge! This is a very close game. Uh oh. Dude missed his silence and squall on me. Yeah, that was very <laughs> close. Played. No, don't run away, please! You're one shot! Please come back! He's not coming- oh! He came back! I'm using Wish Ender and a sniper. Oh my gosh! I, a, a knife just exploded in my face. <laughs> Wish Ender and a sniper. How are you gonna cover the close range, my man? That's the thing. I can't. I still haven't gotten it's Wish Ender working. yet. <gasps> How is it? I'm freezing people, so it's doing something. Let's go. Oh my gosh. I want to take Sturm into comp. Then I don't know, actually. Wish Ender's doing... Good close range. What what uh, archetype is it a part of? I think it's its own archetype. Is it really? I think so. It's like a long bow. It has those piercing arrows that deal double damage, like two ticks of damage. Man, I I mean I've I, it's weird, but I've never used the gun before. Because I think the quest was bugged for a while, I think. Because I went to the ta It said... I was at the part where it was like... Or I still am. It's like, present it to the Talesman or whatever. So, I went and... I presented it... I Like, I went to present it to the Talesman. And it nothing showed up. Like, no actions for me to, like, give it to it. Did you look at the bow? At the bow. You have to look directly at the bow to claim loot. I... Don't know. I mean, I guess I'll have to try it again in the future. Oh my gosh, that hits so hard, dude. Dude, this gun is so close to headshot to double bodying. It, like, leaves them with, like, no health. Oh my god. Oh no. I will cover you. He's so weak! He's so weak! Where'd he go? Gosh, he ran away? Are you kidding me? I literally went out of bounds and killed myself. 
And then he runs away because I was about to kill him. <laughs> ah, only thing is the wish Ender's arrows are very delayed when they hit. Are they really? Yeah. Interesting. We're this was almost about to be a timeout. What? How? I didn't realize this game was going so slow. It seems like it's been like oh, speedy. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, I walked into that. Why would I walk into that? The storm is chasing me and I don't like it. We did it. Yay. <laughs> that was a very low scoring game. Oh my gosh. Let's go. I'm having so much fun with this. Like, the aim assist on this gun is insane. Like, it feels... Yo! Let's go, offensive baby! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the, the aim assist on this gun, like, is crazy high. And I think that's because of the range. Because, like, it feels like Queen Breaker, but like a hand cannon. It's that crazy. Because, like, what's weird about it is, like, I was using True Prophecy, which is a 120, and I just, like, I couldn't get behind it. I and, and I'm like, man, I think I just suck with, like, 120s. I think I'm just trash with them. And then I put on this. Somebody wants me. What do you want, Charles? You want to get your full thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to decline. Okay. Don't get me wrong, Chipotle sounds good, yeah. but that requires money. Okay. <laughs> but I hope you enjoy your Chipotle. I don't know if I'm gonna get Chipotle next. What? No, wait, wait, you can't just not get it because I'm not coming. Yeah. I want to go with I'm sorry, Charles. <laughs> Did you hear that conversation? I did not. Oh, what a shame. Hope the mic picked that up. That was kind of funny. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> well, Tyshack, you got to give the Sturm another try because it slaps. All right, I'll give it. You got to give it another try. For me, you got to do it because I'll I thought, it dude, you. I literally thought it was me. Like, I thought, one, I thought I just sucked with 120s. And then I put this thing on and I'm like, Dang. Like, I feel like I'm playing Destiny 1 hand cannons again. Like, vanilla Destiny 1. That's how crazy this thing is. Like, it snipes. It's a scout rifle, but in a hand cannon. It's ridiculous. It's so good. And I actually, I need to um, go to the gunsmith and get the other version of the Drang that you were talking about. Like, I don't want to use the basic drain though. I want my Baroque. Because I got my... Yeah, the only thing that the basic one has is Rampage. Yeah, like, I don't want that that bland saltine cracker, man. I want this one that I worked for and have my 250 kills on. Like, I don't want that Baroque. I don't want the... the I, I guess I don't have a choice, because I'm going to want to use this in, like, trials. I'm going to have to use the other one. But it's fine. <sighs> I guess that's all I got to say. There you guys have it, that is the Sturm. It's crazy, it's ridiculous. Although it does seem like, um, it does definitely seem like Crimson is stealing a lot of the attention right now. A a which is weird, because I haven't seen really any people making videos on Crimson, but apparently it can two tap now, and everyone's using it. All the tryhards are using Crimson, and I'm like, where's the Sturm love, you know? But yeah, it's got crazy range, 44 meters in a hand cannon. It's crazy. I, I, I guess I really don't know what else to say. Um, I guess I think I mentioned this earlier in the video, but it's recoil is actually very manageable, a lot better than a lot of the other 120s in the game now. And for some reason, this gun avoided it. Maybe it's because of this combat grip perk. I have no clue, but it's great. Highly recommend giving it a shot if you haven't already. And uh, Tyshak, I think that's all I really have to say. A any final words? I'm putting you on the spot. Remember, I'm sorry. guys, subscribe to Vic Showman. Yeah.
We'll be streaming the uh, day one uh, raid, so tune in for that. I I hope I, I can get my, I hope I can get I I want to stream, but I hope I can get my technical difficulties under control because last time I tried st streaming the YouTube, it was stupid. But if streaming the YouTube does not work, I will be on Twitch. So um, yeah, be there for that during the raid. I'll be doing that. It's gonna be one or the other. Hopefully YouTube, but if not Twitch, and. I guess that's really all I got to say. I'm going to say as positive as possible, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.